The Secrets of Winterfell's Crypts, Part 2. If you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you've already seen the first instalment. If not, I'll put a link in the description, and let's proceed. Spoilers everything. Jon Snow's Parentage. Now you're probably familiar with the R plus L equals J theories, and we saw them all but confirmed on the Season 6, Episode 10 of the show, with Bran's vision of the Tower of Joy but I believe there's going to be some physical evidence found within the crypts. As we learned in my last video, the family members of House Stark are laid to rest in the crypts, with only the Lords of Winterfell getting a statue. Ned Stark broke that tradition for his siblings Lyanna and Brandon. They're not supposed to have statues. That's only for the Lords and Kings. But my father loved them so much he had them done. We know Ned Stark was a man of honour who respected the traditions of the North and his family. For him to break one spanning thousands of years seems a little out of character just because he loved them so much. Ned indeed had a dream about Lyanna's statue. He came to the tomb where his father slept, with Brandon and Lyanna beside him. Promise me, Ned, Lyanna's statue whispered. She wore a garland of pale blue roses and her eyes wept blood. So you would think the blue roses signified Rhaegar and the blood their child. There's actually an interesting line that King Robert says to Ned. Go down into your crypt and ask Lyanna about the dragon's honour. Was this some unintentional foreshadowing from Robert? Perhaps. Lastly, we know that John dreams of the crypts constantly. In one of them it said, He walked deeper into the darkness. Father? He called. So he dreams of being in the crypts, looking for his father. Putting all this together, my suspicion is that on or within Lyanna's statue is some evidence, left by Ned, of John's true parents. What form that will take, I'm not sure. One theory I've heard is that it will be Rhaegar's unique silver stringed harp. Is that likely? Maybe not. Would it be cool? Indeed it would. Dragons. Around 200 years before the current A Song of Ice and Fire timeline, a young Targaryen prince, Jaceres Valerion, flew to Winterfell on his dragon to raise support for his mother's claim to the throne. Now this was the start of a Targaryen civil war that would later become known as the Dance of the Dragons. According to Mushroom, a dwarf court jester at the time, who recorded his own written history of events, the dragon of Vermax left a clutch of eggs somewhere in the depths of Winterfell's crypts where the waters of the hot springs run close to the walls. A conflicting history comes from Archmaester Gildane, who disputes that Vermex never laid so much as a single egg, and was indeed male. Now there is actually some reported dragon folklore among northern people. The small folk of Winterfell and the Winter Town have been known to claim that the hot springs are heated by the breath of a dragon that sleeps beneath the castle. Lastly, in A Clash of Kings, when Bran, Rickon, Osha and the Reeds are hiding in the crypts after Ramsay burns Winterfell, which is blamed on Theon, Bran has a wolf dream and sees through Summer's eyes. The smoke and ash clouded his eyes, and in the sky he saw a great winged snake whose roar was a river of flame. He bared his teeth, but the snake was gone. After, when they know it's safe to emerge, they have Hodor push aside the heavy stone crypt door entrance, and Osha says, We made enough noise to wake a dragon. Which to me, seems like a very odd expression for a wildling to say. Is this a foreshadowing? Will there be dragons at Winterfell, perhaps hatched from eggs found in the crypts? So that's it for part two. I may make a part 3 exploring more theories depending on interest. If you guys want that, let me know. If you've got your own theories, please comment below as well. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe.